Does a fountain pen work in space? That's a uh, excellent question that I'm sure is on everybody's mind because it's very pertinent and relevant to <laughs> everything. So, hmm. Got some hot tea today. Really fan of the tea lately. Um, so yes, it should work in space um, because contrary to what you might think, fountain pens do not work by gravity. They work by capillary action. So there's kind of two components to this and I'm gonna use this uh, nice little Lamy Vista clear here to demonstrate. Um, so pun intended, but not really because that's kind of what it's for. It's literally a demonstrator. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So this pen um, shows uh, kind of a demonstration of basically how most fountain pens are, are working. So if you're not familiar with fountain pen, how they work, you have an ink chamber right here, which is uh, represented by this converter, which clips onto the pen. It could be a whatever piston filler. It could be a you know, whole body filled with ink. Whatever the situation is, the concept is the same. You have an ink chamber that attaches to a feed that runs through the pen that then brings ink to the nib that allows it to write. So the contact of the nib on the page is what uh, causes that capillary action to, you know, really make the connection uh, to the paper. But that capillary action is actually happening through the entire feed. If you um, actually pull out the feed, which uh, I probably shouldn't use a Lamy for this example because the feeds are not super easy to pull out. Let me see if I can get it, but mm, I have another pen if I can't do it. Give me a second. I should plan this better. You'd think I'd know by 150 episodes. All right, I'm gonna use a different pen. Needless as Ahab. <laughs> Feeds a lot easier to pull out on this pen, or so I thought. Okay, there we go. So this pen, you can kind of see it here, but it's representative of basically all other fountain pen feeds. It has a slit that's cut all the way down the feed that connects from the ink chamber up to the tip, which is where the nib fits on, and ink travels off this little slit. So that capillary action is what actually draws the ink through it. So whether you're in space or not, it doesn't really matter, um, as long as you have ink in that feed. Now the issue that you will have in space is you will um, not necessarily have an easy way for the ink to make contact with the back of that feed in here. So if you're using a pen and writing with it, it's gonna draw the ink through the feed. And if you're in space, there's no gravity here. Eventually, it's gonna use up the ink that's making contact with the back of that feed. And you're gonna have ink kind of sitting in the back of the pen here that has an air bubble that's, tr that's cutting it off from writing. So it's not gonna write fully. So you're gonna need to kind of compress the, the piston down so that you can make that ink contact with the feed again. Now, I don't know why I'm giving you super practical advice for using a fountain pen in space because the odds of any of you using this in space is probably pretty low, but uh, if you do, let me know. I would love to be in touch with you about that, but that's the concept anyway. It's the same kind of thing that if you're writing with a pen and your ink is kind of hanging up in the back, you know, that happens with certain converters, certain pens every now and then. The ink hangs up in the back and it breaks the flow and you're like, I know I filled this pen, why is it not writing? It's because the ink is not making contact with the back of that feed. If it is making contact with the back of the feed, it will flow through because that capillary action will draw it through. That's how it works. So theoretically, yes, it'll work in space, but even if you're not in space, even if you're writing upside down, it'll still work. It doesn't have anything to do with gravity. It's not pressurized or anything like that. If you have ink in here and it's making contact, it'll write in any direction in any gravity situation. Pretty cool, huh? The only time that it may cause you problems, I'm thinking practically, is if you are, um, well, I don't know, I'm trying to think. No, it, the pen self equalizes. It's not even if, I was thinking if you're flying and writing in certain ascension or descension, but no, it, it self equalizes. So really you're, you're in pretty good shape, um, however you're writing, as long as that ink is making contact.